you have a text message. Bitch, where are you? He said no boyfriends. Who is he? Who's Lafayette? I'll rip your throat out! Oh, well, how do I get rid of him? How about, um, I'm busy, bitch. No, bitch, you won't bitch. Too many bitches. Hooker? In his other messages, he calls you hooker. Hooker, not hooker. It's a water pipe. Tell, tell him I'm okay. Say, trust me, motherfucker. Tr trust me, motherfucker. Brilliant. Hey, Tara. Watch how fast I type, motherfucker. It's cool, right? Yeah. Uh, amazing. I'll delete it. So you can watch again. <laughs> it's just fast because he typed motherfucker. <laughs> it's just funny. Oh, I love that. See, that that's another one of the big ones from last year that I've seen everywhere. Everybody loved that. Okay, Missy's number 10. Wait a minute. I, I just have to say that it was like... He was so mad at her for like two seconds, and then she said, he's my cousin, and he's gay. That's what made it all right. I don't even know if it was just because he was her cousin. I still think he would have been mad. Oh, my God. It, he just, that's, that was part of what was so freaky about that character. While I, he would go from being the most horrible, horrible person in the world, terrifying, and the next second, funny. Just absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Okay, Missy's number 10. This is from now, season 2. Yes, and now we, we realize that this scene has been in another part that we did. But I said, okay, that this is so funny for this character. This was one of the things that this character did. That, just one of the things. But, um, because he is one of the other characters, um, I wanted to showcase this because this is funny. <laughs> All right, this is season two. This is when, um, this was during the whole Maynard incident. Um, when they were all, the whole town was under, um, everybody but Jason, um, Andy, Andy, Sam. That's, I think those was pretty much it at the time. Yeah, and yeah. Sookie. Well, Sookie wasn't there, though. Yeah. Um, and they've decided that they're going to have Jason pose as the God who comes. That's right. Um, to save Sam. So, this is Missy's number ten. Bullshit. God has horns. <laughs> Bullshit. I mean, who, for one thing, who 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 said I, I thought the devil had horns? Oh God. <laughs> that, that is just so funny, and you know you cracked up. It was just bullshit. God has horns. We love Terry. We yes. love 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 Terry. Okay, my number ten was also in season one during uh, Bill's Civil War speech. Um, <laughs> This is, okay, so this is actually foretelling of her. Yes. So the whole town is there watching Bill give his Civil War speech, and Arlene and Renee are there with Arlene's kids. So here's my number 10. Mama, he's so wild. No, darling, we're white. He's dead. This is funny. I just... That cracked me up. He's dead. Yeah. <laughs> She's just... I don't know. Oh, I just can't. Oh, very, very prejudiced. Um, Especially if you've read the books. Yes. So, yeah, I just thought that was a it funny was, scene. It, it was a funny scene. Okay. Missy's number nine. Okay, we had some technical difficulties. Yes. <laughs> so we look a little bit different than as well. Two different days. Because Chris is in. Okay. I got batteries. Um, okay. So, this is a scene um, that I thought had to be on here because it changes everything. Um, it was the, the scene that my husband did not want to happen the most, which I wanted to happen the most, but he didn't. Um, it was filmed very well, and it was done better in the show than it was in the book, I believe. Um, okay, so here is... This is from season three. Yes. But you all know that. Missy's number nine.
Get out of my house. Please. Don't ever come here. Don't ever call me. Don't ever talk to me. Ever. You manipulated me into falling in love with you. It is who you are, Suki. Not what you are that I love. And will love always. Until I meet the true death. Love? You don't even get to use that word. I rescind my invitation. No! I want my phone back. Okay, I'm not talking about what Eric says or any any of that. Which is my favorite part of that scene. But. Um, I'm talking about the bill part. Um, he deserved it. Sorry. Um, no, no sorry. <laughs> he deserved it. After lying. She has no sympathy for you Bill lovers. Oh, no. Not I, at all. I have sympathy for Bill as a, as a, as a vampire. I almost said human being. <laughs> um, I do. I have sympathy for him. I have still some kind of, there's something in me that, you know, I don't want him to get, like, staked or anything. But, um, no. He betrayed her in every in every way a man can betray a woman, he did it. And so she finally, you know, because there was like three three shows that she just kept bringing him back and they had that, that sex scene and, you know, all that stuff. And she was going to, she would have still, if Eric wouldn't have told her that, she would have still kept him. And it was like, if you start a relationship with a lie, it's always been a lie. You know, I mean, even, even if, and you could logically say, yes, he he eventually grew to love her and blah, blah, blah. But how could you as a woman ever know when that began? How much of it was a lie? If he lied to you for that long up until, you know, he the moment he fell in love, how do you even know he's telling the truth now? I mean, I totally and she understood. she slept with him. Yes. She slept The first with him. person that she ever slept with. That's, right. Yeah, that's hard. And, and, and <coughs> filming-wise, when you guys filmed this, um, his fingers being on that, that was just so cool. <laughs> that was good. And I love Eric gives him all that punishment and then walks up to him and walks my phone back. That was hilarious. Okay, my number nine was also in season three. We have so many from season three. Um, Calvin has been at Merlot's already once looking for Crystal. Sam told him he had seen her. Which we were very surprised at how the show made Calvin. Because he's not the same in the books. No, not at all. Um, but, you know, Sam said he hadn't seen her. Now Calvin has come back and Crystal is there. And is arguing with her in the middle of Merlot. So this is my number nine. Who do you think you are? And raise no snitch! Hey! Hey, you are not welcome here. You got a problem, take it outside. Let's go, daddy -o. Oh, yeah, and you? You said you hadn't seen her. Well, that's true, I hadn't seen her. You can't man up to your own lies, you fucking pussy. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Who's a pussy? Who's a fucking pussy? So at this point, we we didn't know about Sam's kind of darker past. We knew a little bit because of the Marianne thing, but we didn't know. No, I mean a little, but yeah, not much. So at this point, I think I was just I was happy to see Sam just let go, just let it out and go off. And Calvin, who is in the show, in the show is well, even in the books, he was incestuous. And, yeah, um, but. Yeah, but in the show, he's, uh... <laughs> I was going to say something. Well, I, I was cheering for Sam. I was, you go, Sam. He needed to get some of that out. And then we find out that Sam has this whole very Other dark past anyway, so... That's just really... I'm really glad, especially for the guy who plays Sam, because, it, I mean, it makes him have this whole other thing that he can do. 
you know, and I, in, in so much in the books and stuff, I just felt like Sam was just like the, the dog they kicked, you know, um, so I actually, you know, I actually like that they're giving him something else, but really came out of left field. Yeah. Okay, Missy's number eight is also from season three. What do you know? <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be that way. <laughs> but, um, this was so sad. This was a big setup. This, you know, what had led to all of this. Okay, this is after Sookie and Bill had been in the back of the truck. Yes, the Sookie had rescued Bill from Lorena. Sookie and Tara and Elsie. And killed Lorena. And killed Lorena. Got in the back of the truck with them. Finally. Um, got in the back of the truck with them. Said she was going to stay. Opened her wrist. It was her wrist. Yeah. Yes. Um, so she could feed him. And he drained her almost, almost dry. dry. And probably did other things to her. Yes. Because in the books. Can I say that? Sure. In the books, he did, I won't say what he did, because okay. he did hor. It, was, it wasn't in the back of a truck, it was in a trunk of a car. Yeah. And it was horrific. Yes. So, Bill um, <laughs> puts the IV in his arm and gives her the blood, and she, she comes awake. Um, is that enough setup? Screaming. She comes to, uh, comes to, when she know, sees wakes him. up screaming, so. Okay, so here is... <laughs> Here is Missy's number eight. 